DX Stamp and Sharon. I have another Christmas card using the Most Wonderful Time product medley. I'm sorry, I'm addicted. If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. You can subscribe by hitting the button below and then hit the notification bell. You'll be notified the next time I upload a video. I sure hope that you feel that this is an easy card to do. To do. I mean, we make a lot of Christmas cards, so let's make them pretty, but easy. Well, I did it. I made another card using the Most Wonderful Time product medley. Um, I made a card the first of the month and shared with you guys, um, but I had someone comment that they couldn't find it in the catalog. So it's in the holiday catalog that just started September 4th, and it's on page 39. Make sure you can see that on page 39. I call it a hidden gem because you see this and you just kind of keep turning the page. But if you look at all of this, you get so much. And I, I, I really think I'm addicted. I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and confess. My name is Sharon and I'm addicted to this meddling. Stamp set, dies, ribbon, uh, sticker sheets, gold foil, um, real thick cardstock, stars. So much designer series paper that I, I I can't stop playing with it. And I just wanted to tell you that everyone has been loving, here's the card we're gonna be doing today, and everyone has been loving the ideas that I've shared. Um, I shared a sampler. This is the sampler that I did with just some of the odd shaped pieces that I had left over. And I shared on my newsletter list, um, they got the, the, the measurements. So I did like top row, the belt, the bottom row and all that. Um, this has just been one of those medleys that I can't put down. So we're gonna make this card today, super easy, super quick. And then I'm gonna show you again, all the other cards. And I wanna tell you, even though I have made so many cards, look at everything I have left. I still have stars. I still have a ton of this tinsel ribbon. I still have several of the gold foil sheets, and these are thick. These are very thick card stocks. I still have sticker sheets, and I have used, I've used a bunch, but I still have a bunch. I'm guesstimating I could probably make 100 cards or more. You have everything you need except for the Whisper White card base. Look at this. I still have so much left over. It's crazy, crazy. So I'm offering this uh, as a PDF for sale. I will put the link in the description box below if you would like the PDF of all the cards that I have made. I, I will have these measurements on a download on my blog post today, but this makes like 15 cards plus that sampler. Holy moly, I'm telling you. It's a great deal, and um, I've taken all the work out of it for you. My supplies are super easy. I have a strip of the Candy Cane Designer Series paper that is one and three quarters by five and a half, and then my card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. Go ahead and adhere our, and here's the stamp set. You can see it more in real life. And I, I want to point out that um, it is two steps to add the bows to the packages, but if you have a stamp apparatus and you could just crank these out, I didn't, I didn't really use these on my cards because I was using a lot of the, of the self adhesive stickers. And, um, I think I did cut out the trees a few times, but I, I mean, I still have more to play with is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I hope that Stampin' Up! comes out with more medleys because, like I said, I'm having a blast. Okay, then we're going to add some candy canes. And I'm running out of candy canes, but we're still going to add some. Uh, let's see, we want it to go that way. So we're going to do one right here. And then we need one to go that way. Okay. 
I mean, really, it, this, this medley is such a good bang for your buck because it has everything you need. And look at this, with these self-adhesive dies, I'm not even using much snail. Okay, we're gonna put that one right there, and then we're gonna stop. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to stamp on this because once we pull it off, we're gonna be adding it on with dimensionals, and you can't really stamp on it after you add dimensionals. Go ahead and ask me how I know that one. <laughs> Okay, I hope you have, let me pull this in so I don't get my head in the camera. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. I apologize if my hair got in there. Okay, so we've got that stamped. Add our dimensionals. It's kind of long, so we're going to go ahead and add three because this has adhesive on it. See? And we don't want that bottom, that middle part to stick to our card. It'll look kind of funny. Just have a sticky mess going on. Okay. Super quick cards. Hope you can tell. And then we need another candy cane. Uh, let's see. I'll use this one. And we're going to kind of tuck it down a little bit like that. There we go. Last thing. Add a few stars. So this is officially my 16th project to do with this stamp set, with this medley. And I hope that you enjoyed the month of September of me sharing all the different ideas with you. So real quick, we're gonna do the other cards. This is actually a little note card size. This one is a little fun fold. This one has little raised packages. I think that's the video I did on one. Little deer. Oh, that's more packages. More deer. Pretty much showcasing that uh, gold highlighted um, designer series paper. Little gift tag. These are all super easy to put together and I think are I think they're gorgeous. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying. So I've got the tinsel wrapped around the tree. Another gift card. A little fun fold. And the last one. I sure hope y'all enjoyed this quick card. Thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend it with me. Happy stamping, y'all.